Life just starts now. Take your first step after you have magic chicken. Another episode of Fridge Diving with Mayhem Loren. I'm gonna make something today called Magic Chicken. I called it Magic Chicken simply because I couldn't think of anything better to name it. It's really a, a magical blend of flavors that I feel haven't been put together ever before, so let's get right to it. What are we starting with? These wings are regular wings right now, but I'm gonna make a magic in a few. Word to mommy. Right now we're gonna rinse the past off of the chicken so we can put the magic on. We don't want any of that old energy. We're trying to just make a magic. If there was one ingredient that made this chicken magic, this is the magic right here. Garam masala. So we're gonna dump that right here. Then we got the ground ginger. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm using cayenne right now, but usually if you could get an extra hot Indian red pepper, that's what I use, but cayenne is just as good. Salt and pepper. We're gonna toss that all together. Wow. That's how you know the seasoning is special. We have any eggs left? Basically, we're gonna dip the chicken directly in the egg before we put it in a seasoning. The way that we're gonna get the wings so crispy, besides the air fryers, we're gonna double coat them, which you'll be amazed by in a minute. We we'll Put a little salt and pepper directly on the chicken. Using one hand, we're just gonna toss it in there. Keep a dry hand, keep a wet hand. We initially coat it directly in the seasoning. You don't want to overdo it, just make sure you, you got a light, even dusting. We got it covered with magic right now. I'm telling you, this is gonna be so special. Now we're gonna get some flour. Uh, all purpose flour. I'm gonna knock things down. I knock things down to get this flour. We're gonna dip these in eggs and then re-dip them in the flour for an extra level of crunch. I'm gonna lock that seasoning in with the flour. The flour is like a coat of like a force field for the seasoning, you know? I'm not using this pan, but I could use this to uh, put our coated pieces of chicken. When these flavors hit your little taste buds, it's game over. Life just starts now. You're one years old, you're a newborn after you have this. Take your first step after you have magic chicken. We're gonna pull out our trusty air fryer. Late night at the supermarket, there was an international section. I wanted Indian food, but I didn't feel like going to buy any, so I didn't make anything that's necessarily on a menu at an Indian restaurant, but I wanted that flavor, I wanted those spices, so I kind of flipped it in my own way. And now we have magic chicken. The thing is, the air fryer is gonna make this so crispy. 22 minutes, 375. I think I'm gonna cook in a robe tomorrow. It's for the people. People wanna see people in a certain light. I don't care. I play dress up for you. All I wanna do is wear a black V-neck, a pair of camo shorts, and mind my business. I get cute for you. I shave my head for you. I slam the pedal on something German for you. I don't care. I'm over everything. I just wanna get sunlight and stay out of drama. Eat magic chicken. Talk to my friends and family. Like, I don't care. So now the chicken's been in there for about 10 minutes. We're gonna pull it out right now. We're gonna do one more level of enhancement. Then we're gonna put it back in to finalize the process. Mm. Hear that sizzle, you see that crisp? There's a lot of flavors going on. As you see, there's still a little flour on the outside, which is normal with an air fryer. You won't see any by the end of the process. So now we're gonna bring a, another magical ingredient out. We have green chili oil, Szechuan peppercorn chili oil. I'm almost certain no one has mixed garam masala with Szechuan peppercorn oil. They may have, but in my head I invented it. We're gonna toss it. Toss it gently. Now this, fuck, damn, yo. I might pick that up and throw it right back in there for you. Now we added a whole new level. We're gonna put these back in. We just made something magical even more magical. So we're gonna leave those in for around another five minutes. Then we're gonna do one last thing and the magic chicken recipe is gonna be complete. Oh, these are, look, these are looking beautiful. Straight out the air fryer, look at that. You gonna tell me this doesn't look better than your grandmother's fried chicken? Woo! There's one last phase. There's a lot going on to make this so magical. As you see, I have three containers of mango chutney. Mango chutney is the last level of the magic. Time for the final phase. You see that? See how good this looks? We're just gonna toss it in this chutney, give it a final glazing. Damn. This is just foolish at this point. This is foolishness. Somebody ever ask you for a plate full of foolishness? This is what you present. I know there's a lot of steps to this, you know, a little stop and go, but believe me, it's worth it. 
It's been doused, glazed, and mangled. I mean, it's already cooked at this point. Just one, one last crispening process. You know, I'm so excited to eat this. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I lost my mind. When I did this, I lost my mind. It's like I got abducted, then brought back to Earth, then abducted again. And no, they didn't probe me. I don't know what the aliens did to you when they took you. We just played spades. I didn't get probed, dog. That's not the kind of abduction that happens with me. The end, theme. I mean, look at this. Throw a little, little coriander just to make it visually appealing. I mean, it already is visually appealing, but if that's not magic, tell me what is. I don't even want to eat this. I want to put this up on the wall and frame it. Good oak wood frame. Flats of drums, flats of drums, flats of drums. We're starting with a drum. It's ridiculous. Utter, it's ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. Truly magic. Good God, whoever you worship, praise them and eat this. This might be my favorite recipe. Yo, like, look at what's going on. This isn't TV magic. I didn't even let these cool. I'm burning my fingertips and my mouth, but I can't stop. Yo, and then when that Szechuan peppercorn all hit you, I'm on the second one now, I just got the kick from the first one. Yo, are you shitting me? Perfect, crispy, nothing pink inside. I didn't have to deep fry it. I didn't have to give my chicken an oil bath. I feel good about this. Guilt-free magic. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a mayhem to run with fridge diving. Magic chicken, I'm out of here. <laughs> my posture was looking like 17,000 Tesla shares. Being cold and shirtless could often turn into inspiration. Damn, I wish I had some paper towels. What do you know about caramelized chutney? You know how many people's wives left them because they didn't know how to make caramelized chutney? Step your game up and save your marriage.